Cut that out. That's not going on there. I don't want to. Yeah, hold it again. Oh, God. Hello, you're watching Naked Talk, a show featuring everyday conversation and issues impacting all of us, taking place here at Christine's Hair Salon. With me, your host, Queen Banda, and Christine right now cutting hair. Say hello, Christine. I just finished cutting her hair. We're getting ready to put her under the dryer. And then I'm going to get cute for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... But I'm not cute yet. Christine, you cute. <laughs> This girl talking about she's gonna go and do her makeup. Okay. Our today's topic is growing up Cape Verdean in America. The stories, the experiences of being Cape Verdean in America. Christine, you are Cape Verdean and you're also American, so how do you identify yourself? Um. Uh, Cape Verdean, African American descent, um, the European in Cape Verdean, so a black, woman, a black woman in America is what I am. That must be very confusing when you're filling on a job application, right? Just I just put other. Do you check everything? <laughs> <laughs> I put other and um, my better half says, you know what you are. You know what you are. I said other and I fill in Cape Verdean. And they look at me like, what's that? Yeah. You, what's that? And yeah. then you have to I explain I'm yourself. I'm Cape Verde, the Cape Verde Islands. My grandparents are from the Cape Verde Islands. Okay, so your grandparents are from Cape Verdean Islands, but you are second generation here in America. Yes. You have never visited Cape Verde. No, I <laughs> But you yet identify as one. And tell me, why so? Because my parents grew up Cape Verdean and that's what they always said and grandparents came from um, Brava and Fogo. So Me I too. just keep that. Too. Brava and Fogo, okay. Yeah. So are the cameras all good? Yeah, one to spin one. Oh, look at you, she's showing leg and everything. Ooh, oh, scandalous, huh? Camera? <laughs> the camera's on. Oh, sure. Everything is on. <laughs> oh, she's laughing. You were talking about how you have all this background in your family, right? Um, from Cape Verde, where else did you mention? I said it's, it's a mix of African and European. Yes. So when it comes to a job application, what do you put down? Well, unfortunately, you check out the. You do. You you do. Sometimes I put Black American. Most times, yeah. most time I do more Black American because it's not. Um, first of all, a lot of people don't know what Cape Verdeans are, mm. and second of all, you don't always get other choices. Right? Yeah, and um, I put Black American because if you just go by what a person looks like, they're not gonna think I'm white. Have you ever visited Cape Okay. Yeah, I think he's gone more than once too. Well, yeah, yeah, he, he holds record. Have you ever been interested in visiting them? I actually wasn't because I'm about like um, having um, all the. When I go on vacation, I don't want to have to worry about not um, going to the bathroom and like how many times I flush. I want to go someplace where I can take a shower and I don't have to worry about taking a second shower. No, but there are—it's it's quite an affluent place. There are places. Yeah, where, there are places but like where that. my people are from, it is not. Fogo is not affluent. Fogo is more uh, backwards still. Oh, okay. Um, I know there's islands that are far more like like typical. Um, um, Resorts and all mm. that, like they were what I'm used to. A lot of but I, I haven't had any desire to go without um, all the amenities. When I go on vacation, I want my amenities. You're okay. So, so oh, okay. yes, she does. <laughs> we just came from the Bahamas, man. St. Green is not virgin. <laughs> 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 Uh, anyway, <laughs> everything else would be virgin except for the wife. <laughs> so, did you guys knew who you were when you were younger? Did you know about Cape Verde? Well, we grew up in a whole neighborhood where everybody was related. It was see. Well, what happened? What we what we found out when we were growing up all in our when I, even when I talked to like people from New Bedford and different parts of that area that are Cape Verdean. But for some reason, all of them did the same thing, and I think it's because they wanted us to speak English. Yeah. But they always spoke. 
Creole in the house, but they never taught us. Well, the usual they never taught us how to speak it. Well, no, the other reason they never taught us because they didn't want us to know what, what they, they were talking saying. about. So they talk, they talk Creole in another room. But room. the funny they thing talk, is to see English, that happen. They don't every, want to know the bad, the bad things. The stuff what, like when we talk to people from New Bedford, they say, yeah, when we were growing up, our parents didn't want um, like teachers how to speak. You hear them all say, all of us say, they never taught us Creole. Yeah. I mean, none of us understood why. Okay, so, so we know Cape Verde, Cape islands are the islands of the coast of yeah, West Africa. Africa, right? West, West Africa. Africa. So, technically, you are African right. because you, you if we go by continents and our country, technically, yes. you are African. Yeah. Okay, so there are those who did say, "Yes, I am African." Okay, I'm from Cape Verde. Cape Verde is in Africa, way off the coast of West Africa. And there are those who say, no, I am not African. I am from Cape Verde. Okay, they do not... The Cape Verde, right up, right up, right but you know yeah, something? So you meet the Cape Verdeans that are from Cape Verde today. Yeah. They recognize that they have African descent. But why do you think that there are other Cape Verdeans who do not want to be Because we, we grew up here. We grew up here. Being on the white side versus the black side. Yeah. And now, speaking of being on the white side versus the black, the black side, you guys are siblings. You are as light as Andrew there. Mm. Andrew, you, you <laughs> can't even <laughs> stand next to Chris. They're like, you guys, you just like, you turn much better than yeah. Andrew there. Give Andrew some my time. Son, my son is like like her. But my look, son. and you are, we are almost in the same shade. Yeah. yeah. So when we, we talk about associating yourself more with Caucasian culture so you can feel better about yourself, where does that leave you both? You are siblings. First of all, um, I just, yeah. Yeah. Cape Verde is actually, even dark skinned Cape Verdeans can be very prejudiced. Yes. Against, against African American. Yes. Now, that isn't that. You are married to a Cape Verdean, right? I think, Andrew, do we, can did we get there? Yeah. Did you, <laughs> and did you see that? When you first married her, did you see that? Yes. In the family? Yes. See? As I was growing up, right? Yeah. That's what I was called. She tell you that right now. You know, I was darker. I was darker. Right? But by the way, and and even my own father. Yeah. Like you say, nigga. I was darker skin. Oh, but but I do. But the funny thing is, my grandfather, his father, was darker than me. Darker than Ace Spade. Exactly. And when you—that's what I'm saying about how they thought they were better. Still, even when they looked African, they still thought they were better. Wait a minute. You get it? Get to the back and back. Like I'm married. No, but your head's not right for me. Where am I supposed to put it? Can you go back a little further? <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. And she still comes back. <laughs> well, this was fun, Christy. Thank you for joining us in our first episode of Naked Talk no, Group right no, here at Christine's no, Girlfriend Salon really? in the Main well, Street, no, Wareham. No, Join us next like week where the show will take place at Fitted Image Barber Shop and we'll have Tom Sylvia there. Thank you so much and have a pleasant day.